Hi everyone. In this episode, we will talk about how to choose your growth chamber. Welcome back. In this episode, we'll talk about choosing your growth chamber. Now, since we are do-it-yourselfers, a lot of us probably go to Home Depot or we go to Walmart looking for a grow chamber. But what should you look for? What should you not buy? And what should you buy? Now, you heard it here first. And I discovered this over eight years ago about grow chambers for aeroponic systems. We have to remember that we are trying to mimic the soil. Soil temperatures stay pretty much consistent between 50 and 60 degrees in most areas. That means that when there is dramatic changes in the soil, plants suffer. They sometimes actually die. So how can we mimic that in our aeroponic system? Yes, we need to have an insulated chamber. That's why I recommend that if you are growing either outdoors or in an environment where the temperature changes dramatically is to use a ice chest. These are naturally insulated already and not only that, they're designed to hold food. So most coolers have a plastic that is rated to be FDA compliant. And also too about these chain herbs, if you look on the inside, it's smooth. There are no crevices where we would have stagnant nutrient at the bottom if we provide a appropriate drain. Some coolers even have a built-in drain already. So all you need to do is hook up your tubing to the existing drain that's attached to the ice chest already. So these work as perfect high pressure aeroponic grow chambers because they are already designed to contain moisture. They are already designed to be food safe and they are already designed to maintain constant temperatures inside the chamber. And also they are op opaque. Light does not enter the grow chamber. Another issue is size. Now, obviously this size can't really house that many plants. But if you want to grow more plants, get a bigger cooler. Here's one that I have used for my own grow. This one here can house over 38 plants and is big enough to even to grow more and is expandable. Now, maybe color is an issue. So when you choose a grow chamber, choose a grow chamber that matches your design of your home. Maybe it'd be in your living room. Maybe you might want a white one. Maybe you might want a black one. Whatever it might be, think about the color as well to make sure that it will fit the environment that it would be placed in. Now, when it comes to size and easy of use, if you are very serious about growing with high pressure aeroponics, I recommend buying a system that is already designed for plant growth. Okay, so this is one that I plan to use in my future system, which would be mostly grown indoors. So that means that the temperature would be pretty much consistent. So I'm not concerned about the growth chamber being insulated. But what's nice about this system is that I don't have to drill any holes. It's already pre-drilled to hold over 64 plants. That's a lot of growing. Also, what's nice about this is that the bottom clam to this is smooth. You can see, once again, there are no crevices where you can have bacteria or algae buildup. So this would be easier to clean 
than the other system because I don't have to go in and clean out deep crevices when it comes time to cleaning. Another nice thing is that this has already a built-in drain, but I'm not gonna use this built-in drain. And the reason why is that this drain, if you notice, is on the side and it's too high. So the water will have to build up or the nutrient level will build up too much in this area before it will exit. Remember, we want a grow chamber that will exit completely of all the nutrient that was used so that there's nothing stagnant inside the system. This way it will promote a healthy environment for your plants. So if you're wondering what this one here is called, this is called an easy cloner and it is the low profile uh, version. Now there is one thing that we haven't talked about that two of these growth chambers have. That is that if you're planning to grow outdoors or to use your high pressure air pilot system outdoors, make sure not only that it is insulated, but also UV protected. We don't want to have our system fail due to overexposure to UV. So to wrap it up, we want to choose a growth chamber that is food safe, that is easy to clean, smooth surface inside, remember? We want to have a, a growth chamber that is opaque, where light cannot enter the root zone. We want to have a growth chamber that's deep enough to house our plants. If our roots are shallow, then we might need only 12 inches. If we have more mature plants that are larger, we might need a root zone that's even twice as deep, 24 inches, or maybe even deeper if we need to grow a plant to maturity that would take more than two months. Or we might need a, a deeper. So consider the depth of your grow chamber based upon the plants you want to grow and how long it will take to reach maturity. We also want to think about how we're going to drain the nutrient. Will the nutrient drain completely out of the root zone? The better we were able to drain it completely, the better health our plants will have. We want to think about the weight of the growth chamber. Is it heavy enough or does it have enough stability to support all the plants we plan to, to grow in it? If not, make sure we have a way to anchor it down so that it doesn't tip over. Think about the color. Does the color match the decor of your house or outdoors? So choose something that you'd be happy with. If you want to make it mobile, or portable, think about how you would move it if you want to. Maybe transport it to a farmer's market. Also, think about the lid to the unit. Is it easy to put holes into it so that you can put your plant in it? Does it have, is it stiff enough to be able to support your plants? So think about the lid of the unit. Also too, if you're planning to grow in an environment where the temperature is going to change Dramatically, make sure it is insulated. And finally, is it UV protected if you plan to grow outdoors? Okay, so that's a wrap for our grow chambers. I hope that you enjoy that. Now stay with Aeroponics DIY because we will take your gardening into the future. So please subscribe right here now on Aeroponics DIY and let us take you where no gardener has gone before.